Hey guys, it's Naomi. Where can I do this? <laughs> um, so I just want to make a quick little intro for this video. Um, it'll be a mastectomy vlog. Um, I basically just want to show kind of the process and things that I, uh, will need and stuff for when I have my mastectomy. I'll be having a double mastectomy. Uh, the surgery will be tomorrow. So, <laughs> pretty nervous but excited and a little bit sad. Just very mixed feelings. Um, so hello, editing Naomi here. <laughs> I didn't even give context to this video. Um, I have stage 3 breast cancer and I am getting a double mastectomy. Um, I needed a single one to get all the cancer stuff out and then I just decided to have a double. So then I don't have to deal with this anymore. That's basically what I'm getting. I will also, if you're interested, link my cancer journey video uh, somewhere up here. And if you'd like to see that too. So, thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick intro to that for my uh, mastectomy vlog. Yeah. So, um, thank you for tuning in to this video. And if you're going through the same thing or you want more information. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. But yeah. So, guys, right now I am basically packing because I will be at my mom's for my recovery. Um, it's just easier. She can help me take care of me and everything. Uh, right now I'm just packing. So, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff or all the stuff that I'll be taking. Okay. So, this is all of the clothing that I'll be taking to my mom's. I know it looks like a lot, but recovery is between four to six weeks. So, I just basically wanted to take stuff that I needed. So, I have uh, sports bras here, nothing with underwire, um, just, you know, cotton, um, really just soft sports bras. Um, and then some underwear, some socks. This is what I'm going to wear to the hospital tomorrow. Just a Nike sweater and um, some Aritzia pants. Then I have all of these sweaters. They are all zip up. Or this one is like a robe kind of thing. And then I have a couple um, like skims button-ups so yeah because for the mastectomy you can't lift up your arms really so i get everything that i don't have to pull over my head i can just button it or zip it up so i have all that those are the tops these are all the bottoms i have mostly sweatpants and some shorts just for lounging, these are like skims, boxers, um, these joggers are from Dynamite, I have, I think these are Fashion Nova joggers, I have a whole bunch of, uh, just really soft pants that I can rest in, um, I brought leggings, but I don't know if I will be wearing them, because you basically can't really, like, lift up the pants too much so things like joggers or like very soft pants um are better for this for for recovery so yeah another pair of skims joggers got everything all sorted out and those are all the clothes i'll be taking basically just comfy clothes that i can rest in next i want to show you the toiletries i'll be taking uh, my mom has toiletries like uh my sensitive toothbrush and stuff but basically like i just want a couple eye cream uh lip cream face cream all those just little ones that i could take with me um a couple face masks you know just to pass the time oh my gosh sorry I've been crying right before this, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if I should say that, but <laughs> yeah, my nose is a little stuffed. 
Uh, so yeah, just, you know, pamper myself while I rest. After surgery, um, I got my sensitive toothpaste. You know, if you went through chemo and everything, uh, you can't really do whitening toothpaste or really abrasive toothpaste. Sensitive is best. Um, I have the Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief. I actually like this a lot better than the Sensodyne because I tried that one too. And that one actually hurt my teeth while I was going through chemo. So I like this one better. And then, listen, <laughs> I know nobody wants to talk about this, but some, you know, stool softener. Because, <laughs> okay, I shouldn't laugh, but... This might actually be handy because, you know, with surgeries and stuff, you never know how it's going to be after. So, yeah. Just keeping it real, you know. <laughs> Listen, like, things happen. So, you got to be prepared. I just want to let you know that that could happen. So it's better to be prepared. Um, and then let me go show you some more things that I am taking with me. Oh, and I will be putting everything in this suitcase. <laughs> so next, um, okay, what should I show you first? Um, okay. Let me show you some of this stuff. Okay. Oh, I don't want to tell. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a couple boxes that I have. Okay. Okay. Before I <laughs> show you everything else, I just want to show you this body pillow I got. I got it from Amazon. Um, basically, after your mastectomy, you have to sleep on your back, which if you're anything like me, I freaking hate sleeping on my back. Uh, I'm a stomach sleeper, so this is going to be very difficult, and you have to be a little elevated. So I got this big, like, pregnancy body pillow, so then I could just sit in the middle, and then uh, kind of just chill. And uh, sleep like that is going to really help me. Um, I hope. And honestly, I thought that... Ooh, let me get up first. <laughs> so, I thought that $50 was a lot for a body pillow. I was like, what am I spending this on? But, this is huge. Like, it is literally tall, as tall as me. I'm four foot six. So, <laughs> I think it's well worth the money. <laughs> so, yeah. And I really, I have nowhere to put it in my apartment right now. So I literally had to put it on the floor. I'm so sorry. But I'll wash it and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, let me show you some of the stuff I got. So, from myself, I bought, okay, so, let me preface this. I did not know that I was going to get, like, a nurse to come and help after with my drains and everything so um i got some stuff by myself like medical supplies but i didn't know that the nurse was going to stop by and bring me medical supplies uh for after surgery so what i got was um 10 by 10 centimeters gauze medical tape for the dressing um, and this giant bottle of chlorhexidine. So this is actually, uh, for, I have to bathe myself in it basically, like wash myself with it. It's, um, kind of to sterilize everything and clean everything. So it prevents risk of infection. So I will have to use this on myself tonight and tomorrow morning before my surgery. And yeah, so I got a really big bottle of it. And uh, yeah, so the nurses didn't give me, they didn't give this, but I bought this for myself. And that was one of the instructions. And then from the nurses, I got 
I think these are bandages, huge bandages. Um, more bandages, sponges, or sponge, yeah, these are like dressings, gauze, sponges. Like, I didn't know they were going to give that to me, so I had bought some already, and like medical tape, which I have, but they gave more. And then, like, these are for uh, suture removals. So, this I won't use because I don't know how to remove sutures. So, this is definitely for the nurse. And then two little bottles of sterile saline, probably to clean everything. So yeah, those are the medical supplies I have. Next, what do I have? So, um, we have a program in Canada called Breast Cancer Action. And they have this program where uh, locally, I can get a um, mastectomy camisole uh, for free, which I think is a great program because these are not cheap, honestly. So for women who can't afford them or people who can't afford them, this is like a really great program. And like, thank you so much to the lady who, um, who owns the boutique that partners with them. Um, so she i think it's her program and they partner together so this is the mastectomy camisole that i got yeah so basically it zips up in the front and it's just very tight on you and it's by the brand amoena i think that's like i think it's a brand that um has like a lot of really good quality um mastectomy bras and like stuff like that um and what's great about this camisole is it has drain pockets so when you have uh when you have your drain drains uh you could just oh no let me show you yeah <laughs> the drain pockets in here and they they actually are um you can unzip them off or velcro unvelcro them you know so yeah but that will be great because you could just put the pockets in there or the drains in the pockets and then you don't really have to deal with them. So, yeah. Well, that's another reason why I have so many zip ups with me uh, because I, because you can like put the, you could put the zip up, um, what's it called? Inside out and then in the pockets of the zip up sweater you can put your drains in them too so that's another thing and she says when you're ready or i'm ready i can put these little inserts to have little fake boobies <laughs> so yeah because i like i am a double d probably an e actually at this point uh and i'll be literally tomorrow i'll be flat i won't have anything so that's going to be a change i haven't been that's like something I'm really like struggling, struggling with a little bit because I've had a bigger chest my whole life. Like, I don't know how I'm going to deal with not having literally anything. Uh, but, you know, I'll get through it. So, yeah, that's what therapy is for, right? <laughs> Another thing is for your mastectomy, just uh, keep in mind, the nurse will probably tell you this, but... Um, you can't eat or drink anything past midnight and you can only have clear liquids um after midnight and a clear cup of <coughs> a clear cup of um liquids um before you head to the hospital so. yeah and another thing that i got from the boutique was this pillow it's so cute it's a little heart pillow and it's like when you go to sleep i can put my well I'll probably put it on this side because this is where it's affecting more but you could put your arm there so it's more comfortable or you keep this in the car and you put this right on your chest and put your seatbelt over so it doesn't hurt your chest like the seatbelt so I thought this was super cute and I thought it was really cute, nice of them. And then what I bought personally 
it because I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna get the camisole was a, a mastectomy I got this one on Amazon a mastectomy bra and this is what it looks like no yeah. so it looks like that it's also by the brand um ammo enna and i got a 34b the other one is a c d and this one's a b um honestly i don't know how i'm gonna feel because i haven't been a b in, since i was like 12 so <laughs> yeah but we'll see um so yeah i got this one um i don't know if i'll <sighs> I don't know how it's going to be wearing it and stuff, but I got it also just in case. And I have a bunch of, I showed you, sports, like soft sports bras in case I don't want to wear like the camisole or the bra. So yeah. That is the stuff that I got for surgery. Also, I got a bunch of, um, like, let me show you. I got, like, um, a bunch of pamphlets. Oh, sorry, that's my dishwasher, if you can hear that. Um, so, yeah, I got a bunch of pamphlets. Um, yes, a lot of information, um, <laughs> yeah, this is just for after breast reconstruction, just when I think about that stuff, um, and I have, like, a folder with all of my, um, just, like, a bunch of, like, information I need and stuff like that, so, yeah, and then I'll be bringing my... Lola bag with me to the surgery. So it's my favorite favorite bag. And I'll be bringing all like the stuff that I need there. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be bringing to my mom's or this is what I'm gonna use for post-surgery. Good morning. It is the day of my surgery. It's 5.30 in the morning. Um, I just showered. I changed into some comfy clothing and we're going to head over to the hospital soon. So, yep, I'm just wearing a Nike shirt and then some pants, some Aritzia pants. So, yep. I'm like nervous and excited and yeah, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So now that I am back, I am having some soup, just something light after surgery, um, some tea with um, cherry syrup. It's really important to have some tea after because when you're under, you're intubated uh, in the surgery. So your voice and your throat will be sore and uh tea really helps with that especially with something sweet i did cherry syrup but you can do honey or agave syrup really depends on what you like and then of course i am watching the bachelorette to <laughs> kind of calm down after the day good morning everybody it is day two let me turn on my tv Good morning, everyone. It's the day after my surgery. Um, 
basically today I just slept and now I woke up. I slept a lot because I was really tired. And you get like emotionally and physically tired from this. So yeah, I'm about to clear out my drains and my medicine, like my pain medicine and everything. So yeah. Hey guys, it's been day two of post-surgery and honestly i haven't vlogged too much sorry <sighs> but basically i've been resting doing my exercises and sleeping <laughs> but yeah um i guess <sighs> i'm just tired <laughs> And I have a little bit more pain than before. Maybe all the anesthesia has really worn off. So now it's just like more pain. Especially I get a lot of like discomfort underneath my armpits. I know the drains are the worst part and I'm definitely feeling that. So yeah, that's something I can't wait to have them taken out. <laughs> probably gonna be a couple more days till then though but yeah um what else can i say i guess i didn't really talk too much about the actual surgery experience um it was everything was great my surgeon is amazing i had the anesthesiologist there too all the nurses uh internal internal medicine and everything and basically, you wait for the surgery, like the operation room to be ready. And then they take you to the surgery room. And then they put the, they put the IV in you. Um, and for the anesthesia. And then the anesthesiologist will like give you a little something to calm you down, which I think I was like pretty calm already, but I guess a lot of people get like very worked up, obviously. Um, and yeah, I just, I woke, I went to bed, <laughs> woke up a few hours later and I was really groggy. And then, yeah, I, the surgery was done and I just basically took a few hours to kind of wake up really from that and before my mom could pick me up and that was basically it like i had the surgery all everything was good um and yeah i was picked up and sent home and yeah nothing too much like i had all the like it was, everything was gone here obviously since i had a double mastectomy and then i have drains put in and um obviously there's more to it than that but i'm not a surgeon <laughs> so yeah and um yeah i was able to go home after i slept and then the next day a nurse came by to see me and check on everything and yeah so that's really been like the last couple of my days. I've just been resting. I uh, have to clear out my drains every uh, every day for a couple of times a day. And yeah, I think maybe tomorrow, hopefully I can vlog some more. And yeah, but yeah, this is just me resting and stuff. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. Um, I'm going to cut off the vlog here, part one, and then next week I'll do a part two where hopefully my drains will come out and just to show and to show more of the healing process. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.